This is Twit. This is fun. Mackenzie Leak is here. She's a computer science PhD student at Stanford University. On Trong, she is a research apprentice at the Adobe Research Creative Intelligence Lab. And together they've done something that's going to put many, many people out of work. <laughs> that's not the way they wanted to start this out. You're, you're, you're going to use AI to edit video. So um, I'm sure editors will have other jobs. Tell us about your project. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um so we worked on this project. There's four of us uh, involved, uh, me and On, and then a uh, postdoc, Abe Davis, and our advisor, Manish Agarwala, at uh, Stanford. And so we, we all came together uh, to work on this project uh, to think about how we could uh, create computational tools for uh, assisting editors. So uh, I'm going to say right off the bat, you know, we're not, we're not in the business of taking away jobs. We're actually hoping to make um, the process of editing uh, easier and allow editors to focus on, on different parts of the process. So um, our tool does a lot of automatic labeling for videos. Um, you input a scripted scene and, and several different video takes, um, and then we produce uh, these edits automatically and allow editors to work with these different styles and try out these different types of edits very quickly. Um, so that right now, this is a, a research prototype that we presented at the SIGGRAPH conference earlier in the summer, and, um, and, and that's uh, where we are right now. Well, I hope you got an A plus because this is really <laughs> impressive. <laughs> yeah, so. Thank you. So, how long? I mean, how how much does it speed up? How long does the whole process of editing take? Um, yeah. So, using our, our system, we we focused on these on these short dialogue scenes. So, the output is is generally one to two minutes, and we start with about fifteen minutes of, of input footage for a lot of the scenes that we've been working with. Um, and for for something on that scale, we we take two to three hours to do all of the automatic labeling. So we have this process where we, um, where we split the different videos into different components um, based on, on the content that the actors are speaking. Um, we do some um, identification of, of faces in the scene and other information in, in the videos. And all of that is fully automatic and takes about two to three hours. And then after that, um, the edits that we produce take just two to three seconds. What? Tool. So, so yeah, yeah. But that's so, nice because that means you can try different things, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So the, the, the editor can take time to, to try out different combinations with these high-level goals in our system and then, and then produce the edits very rapidly and, and go through and try them out. It's basically the same as, you know, when I was in college and I was doing editing, we had the big giant tapes and, you, have you know, to do we'd the have ingest, to, you right? know, and now yeah. it's much easier now. And, you know, before there were people taping the tapes together and everything. Yeah. So it's just a natural progression. That was always the worst part, digitizing yeah. your content. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, di you still have to digitize, but the computer, uh, then kind of the AI munches on it for a little while to figure out who the characters are, who's talking, all the different shots you have. It can use wide shots, two shots, master shots, singles. It can use all of those. Oh, right, exactly, and it and it really benefits from having those those different camera yeah, angles. Yeah, you don't to want to just. From. Oh, now it's Mackenzie. Now it's Ed. Now it's Mackenzie. That would be boring. Nobody wants that, you know. Yeah. Can exactly. you do styles of editing? Yeah, yeah. So we we um, in our system we've encoded some of these common conventions in cinematography, and then we we let users kind of select those different uh -huh. items um, together and compose them together to, to produce styles and, and to try out um, different ways of editing a, a particular scene. Should we take a look at it? On has it here. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll show a couple of different sure. styles. So you could have the tool. Quentin Tarantino style and you could, you could have, it's amazing. That's amazing. All right, let's yeah. see. All right, um, so are we showing? Yeah. Great. So th you can't buy this software right now. Right? No, this is just a research prototype. Don't get your yeah. hopes up, kids. Yeah. All right. Um, so this is our interface. On one hand here, you see the script that the users input. And each line of this script corresponds with um, a row in this grid of clips. Uh, and basically what these clips are, um, are there are different versions of like this line of dialogue being executed from different camera angles. Um, and so what the user can do is they can use this thing we call an idiom builder to create an edit. Um, and so I'll run you through a few different edits of this soap opera scene. So cool. Yeah. This is an actual general hospital scene. Yes. Well, well we had <laughs> we had uh, we had some actors reenact uh, oh, one of our okay. one of our favorites, a, a great a great classic, I would say, uh, <laughs> in uh, in the general hospital <laughs> sequence of events. Yeah. Is it Luke and Laura? <laughs> that was well, I La Lucky and Elizabeth. Lucky and okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth are the Luke and Laura of the 20th okay. century. Okay, yeah, good. Got 21st it. century. <laughs> but, you know, same, same plot line. Same just. idea, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so on the left-hand side of our idiom builder, 
we have this collection of idioms or basically rules that users can specify to say, you know, what kind of style of editing they want. Um, in the middle, we, ha um, we would be able to see the collection of idioms that, you know, are currently being used. And then on the right, we have this generate button, which we click, and then in like two to three seconds, it'll generate an edit based on the idioms that we specified. Now, since we haven't specified anything yet, when I click the generate button, it'll just pick me a random clip for each row. Oh. So we can Look just... Look how fast that was. Yeah. <laughs> but that will follow the dialogue. Yes, this follows the dialogue. So, I mean, let's watch it and see what we've got. Elizabeth, something's wrong. Just tell me what it is. Well, Lucky, I'm pregnant. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> Look, we are getting married. You need an idiom. <laughs> we need an idiom. All right, so... It's going so, two, one, two, one, two, one. Right? Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, um, I think there are actually three or two problems um, in these first three lines. I mean, one is that uh, there's a jump cut because it's cutting between views that are too similar. Right. And so to do that... Um, oh, is that what that was? Okay, yeah, so the dialogue it. continued, but there was a jump cut. Yeah, uh, it was okay. a jump cut. Yeah, so in order to get rid of the jump cuts, we can add this avoid jump cuts at the end. Oh. And then you can Sweet. see, like, in the second line, Elizabeth is a character speaking, but you can't actually see her face on the shot. And so to make sure that we can always see the speaker's face, we can add the speaker vid visible in oh, idiom. This is really cool. And then we'll hit generate. So that immediately fixes the problem. Yeah, so we can watch it again. Let's see what we've got. Elizabeth, something's going on. Just tell me what it is. I can't. I can't. No, I just can't. Look, we are getting married. Okay, so I think this is pretty good, but now you can see that like the first shot is a close-up of Lucky, and a lot of times we want to actually start with a wide-angle shot instead to establish the scene. Yes. So we can do that by adding a start wide idiom. Oh, nice. And then... I'm also noticing that some of the performances are like dragging on, mm -hmm. so I can add this performance fast idiom to prefer sharper deliveries. Oh. Um, so you can actually pick takes based on how fast they spoke, yes. things like that. Yeah. Holy cow. So, can you put better acting in? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about better dialogue, perhaps. Yeah, no, 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 we'll have to work on that, yeah. Um, also, I should mention that while we've only been looking at the first few lines here, the system's actually been automatically propagating all of our preferences to the rest of the script. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, so we can, we can see what that looks like. To save time, sure. Yeah. yeah. Elizabeth, something's going on. Just tell me what it is. I can't. I just can't. That was a good, pretty good cut there. Look, mm -hmm. we are getting married. We are going to have to trust each other and work through some of this stuff. Okay, just stop. I'll tell you because I don't want to lie about it anymore. Would you think that an editor might do the rough cut this way and then tune it a little yes. bit? Is that the plan? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you can actually export this video that we're showing that into an EDL. Was, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I can I can just, totally see happened. people doing a rough cut Things like that. quickly. Mm -hmm. Just to get a rough cut. I mean, they frequently do this in movies, a very rough cut just to get an idea of what they've got. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and we tried this um, We tried this out with a professional who wanted to do exactly that. Yeah. 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 That's the most painful part. It's like going through all your you takes. You're supposed and... to marry me, Elizabeth. <laughs> so <laughs> I know. <it's... laughs> Who's that? <My> brother. <laughs> oh, thank God. He's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Are these friends of yours? <laughs> yeah. they, they are friends of, of, of one of the, or uh, collaborators. They're, I they're love it. <laughs> they're actually a professional acting company. They're yes. very cute. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. They, yeah. they really nail the soap opera I style. I thought they got the style yeah. Yeah. very you know? nicely done. Yeah. This is amazing. I mean, it's easy to say, oh, but there, the amount of in, kind of, it's not intelligence, but what looks like intelligence going on is really impressive. That's a hard thing to do. Uh, yeah, and I, Did I the folks at SIGGRAPH go crazy? Like, some of them must have booed you, thinking, oh, we're out of work. <laughs> no, it, it, it's funny. It's one of those things where I think, um, you know, the, the initial reaction is often, you know, robots are taking our jobs, yeah. kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think when you talk to people more about it, actually, I mean, in, in all fairness, you know, the, the only AI in this really is, is some of the, the labeling is built on top of AI tools, but we wanted to make sure that we allowed for a lot of creative control for the user. So... Um, even though we're generating these these edits or in some cases, like you said, rough cuts automatically, 
you know, we, we really do want the user to, to select the idioms and to try the different parameters and to, to export into, um, into Premiere into, or into any editing software and try out um, and, and work from there. And so I think that you know, we're, we're very careful about that balance. We want to make sure that you know, maybe organizing the takes this way and organ helping you. It's a tool. Yeah, it's a, it's tool, a tool, and yeah. it and it takes away some of the um, some of the kind of more uh, boring and tedious parts right. of the process, but lets you still. That's have AI at its control. best. It's a partner with a human intelligence to do right. the menial, less interesting right. stuff, so the human yeah, can yeah. focus on the thing that really makes a difference in mm -hmm. the creative process. Have you showed this to actual movie editors and, and asked them what they thought? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we um, we. That's something that's really wonderful about working on, on research in this space is, is that we, we do talk with creative professionals nice. about it. We had a professional editor hand edit a version of this scene and it took him a couple of hours to do yeah. and um, also take a look at the results from, from our output. It's the least evaluate. fun part of, of any of this stuff Absolutely. is that day, you know, that grind of editing it out. Mm -hmm. You'd obviously have to have dialogue. You couldn't do this without dialogue, right? Right, right. right. So, so currently we're, we're, able to, we're able to do this because we have the dialogue that that gives us the the structure of the scene, so so we're able to to use these tools to to align our our audio from our videos with the text script to give the structure. But it's definitely something that we're interested in is thinking about how we can get that kind of structure from other types of other types of videos. And this is an ongoing project. You're still working on it. What what's next? Yeah, yeah. So um, all of us uh, are continuing to work on on video production tools. It's an area of research that that our lab is is really excited about. Um, and and with, with this project and with others as well. Graphics.stanford.edu slash papers slash rough cut if you want to see your paper. Yes. You call this rough cut? So that's our... Uh, that's kind our of, internal code I name. like it. <laughs> it yes, I like it's, it. uh, you know, reminds us there's always work to be done still on it. Yeah, but also that's, the, that's one of the things you do in, a pro, in, a, in an edit process. You do a rough cut, and I think that this is a perfect way to get that rough cut done efficiently quickly does it do face recognition is that how it knows who's who or so um, so the the software itself um, identifies uh, landmark points on the face so it gets a number of points around different features and then we use that to figure out um, how how large the faces are in the in the videos that's how we get a sense of whether it's Close a wide up. shot yeah. or and how many yeah. people are in there and then we um, we actually use the mouth motion to figure out who's who's speaking on screen oh. so we wrote an algorithm to, to use that information as well isn't that cool? Mouth movement algorithm. I need one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie Leak is a computer science PhD student uh, at Stanford University. Thanks for joining mm us. -hmm. Ahn Trong is a research apprentice at the Adobe Research Creative Intelligence Lab. Obviously, Adobe had something to do with this as well. Of course, they make Premiere, which is the editing program. Yes. We use. We're going to see this in Premiere soon, so. Um, no. <laughs> like I said, this is just a research prototype. <laughs> Adobe wants you to know your jobs are safe, boys and girls. <laughs>